The Pope is saying where the new cardinals live shows, quote, the universality of the church, which preaches God's love throughout the earth. Now, the finest Vatican expert in the world is Crux editor John Allen, and I am not exaggerating. He joins us now. John, thanks for being with us. Well, Liz, I got to say, you can sell absolutely anything. <laughs> Thank you, John. Likewise, sir. Now, you argue that no single thing any pope ever does is more consequential than choosing cardinals. Now, who are the two or three selections that impress you most this time around? Well, I mean, first of all, I say that because not only are cardinals the pope's most important advisors right now, but they are also the men who will elect his successor. So they have a great deal to do with where the church is going to go. First of all, uh, I think when the pope presented these names on Sunday, he referred to the universality. And of course, that's absolutely right. I mean, we've got cardinals in this group from Iraq, from Pakistan, from Peru, from Madagascar, from Japan. It does say something about the breadth and depth uh, of the Catholic Church. Uh, in terms of the individuals, I think there are really three uh, that I think are particularly striking. One is Patriarch Luis Sacco uh, of Baghdad. You know, uh, the Pope in 2016 made his ambassador in Syria a cardinal and left him there. That's absolutely unheard of in terms of Vatican diplomacy. It was a strong statement of solidarity with Syria. This is likewise a strong statement of so uh, solidarity with the suffering church in Iraq. Uh, the second is Angelo de Donatis, the Pope's vicar of Rome. Anybody with eyes can see uh, that now Cardinal de Donatis uh, is a special favorite of Pope Francis. He's someone he relies on a great deal. He made de Donatis an auxiliary bishop of Rome, then made him the vicar. Uh, he asked him to preach his Lenten retreat. When his new apostolic exhortation, Gaudate et Exultate, was presented in the Vatican in April, it was De Donatis. He tapped to do that. Mm -hmm. So he's like a bellwether, if you like, for the thinking and the direction of the Francis papacy. Uh, and then finally, uh, there is now Cardinal Angelo Becciu, who is the sustituto, the number two official in the Secretariat of State, and by common consensus, the most powerful man uh, in Francis's papacy. There's not a single significant decision uh, in the last several years that the, that has not involved and run through Beichu uh, in some sense. And the huge question mark here is, Liz, and this is going to be fascinating to watch, uh, is this Francis putting an exclamation point uh, on Beichu as a key figure? Hmm. Or uh, is this one of those classic Italian cases of promoveator ut amoveator, that is, uh, promoting in order to get rid of someone. Uh, and so we're going to have to watch uh, in the months to come how influential Beichu remains. John, really quickly, this is the fifth time Francis has bestowed red hats on new cardinals. Only on one occasion did he choose Americans. In 30 seconds, why so few from the U.S.? Well, for one thing, Americans have the second largest number of cardinals in the world outside Italy. A lot of people think we're over cardinal. I think this is the, the pope from the developing world trying to spread the wealth a little bit, Liz. All right, John, I, and I'm sure our audience sees why we say you are the best. Thank you so much for joining us once again. I look forward to the next time. Always an honor to be on air with the best television host in America. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs>